Okay, Coach. Well, the skies are clear. The sun is out. But don't be deceived. There's a big-time nip in the air on this crisp autumn day at Lincoln Financial Field. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying, fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with the Chicago Bears. Wentz now on first down. And that's complete to Jeffrey. Give him nine there on the first down completion. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Two yards good enough for a first. The last time these two teams met, boy, was it memorable. Wild card weekend last year as the Eagles started their Super Bowl title defense, and they held on thanks to the doink or the double doink heard around the world on the Cody Parkey missed field goal. And the Eagles would escape 16 to 15. Of course, they would go on to lose the following weekend to the New Orleans Saints. That sends them two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive if your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. This is Howard on second down. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Go, go. 180! From the gun, it's Hens. Aguilar has it. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 45-yard line. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 45-yard line. To throw is Wentz. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Sproles will fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Throwing now is Wentz. Screen pass to Sproles. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Well, that play really didn't fool them. They completed the screen pass, but for lost yardage, a really nice play by the defense. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good. Off to the right. Out onto the field come the Bears again there right now. In their first three-game losing streak under Matt Nagy, and we said it earlier, but three and four, so they're back under 500. The defense been tough, right? But it's the offense and the kicking game, a lot of woes there. And the defense, what they're used to getting from them are big plays and takeaways. Not getting that at the same rate, so that puts even more pressure when the offense isn't performing. Now, there is room for optimism. David Montgomery, their rookie runner out of Iowa State, had his first 100-yard game against the Chargers. They'll need more of that from him. But it's a tough stretch coming up for Chicago starting in Philadelphia this week. We'll see how they handle that because if they do, that could
could get them started on a nice little run. But it's tough, as you and I have discussed. That division is so good. They're in the basement right now at 3-4. and four. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver, and it's third down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Back deep is Darren Sproles. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. The CD, you start thinking about teams that are maybe ready to take off, and one that comes to mind immediately is these Eagles here as they come back out on offense. You know, they're 4-4 four and four now. They rebounded from the thrashing they took in Dallas to deliver a big win over the 5-1 and one Bills in Buffalo, no less. And their schedule's pretty interesting coming up, is it not? It certainly is because they don't leave home for the next month. Now, the tough part is who's coming to visit. Chicago has to be almost desperate, right? Almost last stand coming in. Then they get an open week. And then here come the now undefeated New England Patriots. And Seattle follows that. And their next road game, well, they go to Miami. So that's probably good for them. But boy, those next three, this is a chance to make your move. And that is intercepted by the all-pro safety, Eddie Jackson. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. They'll run with a third-year man. This is Tariq Cohen. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 22, Trubisky sliding out of the pocket. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. First down, a run with Cohen. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. And his throw here is incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the shotgun is Trubisky. They'll find Miller. That's complete. 
And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. <laughs> trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. And that'll bring up second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Wentz. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And he connects with Ertz. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. On first down, Wentz. And he's got his man on the out route. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. To throw again on second down, Wentz steps away to his left. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. On second down now, it's Howard. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A 23-yard run as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, 
Yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Elliott good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Oh, yeah! Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. On third and one, it's Trubisky. He gets this complete to Shaheen, the tight end. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. From the gun, it's Trubisky. His throw incomplete. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. On second down, Montgomery. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. What an advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. The Bears on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and ten. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. begin the drive with Sproles. 
And this is going to double their room to maneuver, able to get it from the 5 to the 10-yard line. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Running with Howard. And not much there at all as he'll get this only up to about the 11. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. They could put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. On the return is Cohen. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards, and the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. The completion good for three and it's second down. I know when you've got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right, that run after catch. They snap it at one. Now it's Trubisky. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. He's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, he bounced up after taking a sack and took a shot downfield. I think a lot of us thought maybe he'd run draw in that situation. Instead, tried to get all back in one play. Yeah, third and long. Thought he needed the deep pass. Couldn't connect it. Maybe he was hoping for a penalty downfield to give him the yardage they needed. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. They're following the sack. They'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Wins. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And indeed, that's what they'll do as they run it here. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. 
We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Here comes Cohen. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach... Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. On second down, it's Montgomery. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit at 50%. Three of six to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 20. It's caught by Aguilar. That throw good for four. It's second down. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Now Wentz. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? What a luxury to have a tight end that can not only catch it, but then can run after the catch like that. What was the old expression back in the good old days that they used to carry pianos yeah. on their backs when they were after they caught the football? Someone would stop and bang out a tune along the way as well. But nowadays, these guys are essentially bulked up wide receivers, and they are a full part of the passing game. And we see a lot of big plays, as we just saw there. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second down, there's the option going left. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. Now it sprays. Down to about the 22 here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. 
Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. And his throw is incomplete. The Pro Bowl tight end Zach Ertz, the intended target, and it's third and short. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches have told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll try to run for it with Howard. Now he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Defensively, they rally the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. And the kick by Elliott is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never gotten a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. The speed, I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Throwing here, Trubisky. That's complete to Robinson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Throwing again on second down. Trubisky looking middle, and it's incomplete. Javon Wims, the intended target, and it's third and short. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Looking to throw again, Trubisky. This one into the hands of Burton. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Trubisky finding the former Eagle Burton for the Chicago first. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Trubisky on first down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Give the sack to Fletcher Cox. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. You can almost feel Trubisky saying, let's get to the line and hurry up. To try again after the sack. Trubisky, he's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And they'll need to get 
to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Draw play here. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. And out now come the Eagles. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now, with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Trubisky will throw. He may try and run for this. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Someone knew exactly where he needed to get to pick up that first down now. I'm not so sure about the technique in getting there, but he went for it, and he got it. Exactly. He knew where he needed to get, because remember, if he slides, when that derriere dips, if you will, that plays over. The derriere dips, I like that one. Yeah, been working on it for a little bit. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there, but it'll be second down. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. You ain't going nowhere. On second down and four, Trubisky. He's got Burton here. And he'll go down at the 28. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
think I get a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Now on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Here's Trubisky to throw. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. He'll get a couple yards on. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Now for the field goal try, here's Eddie Pinheiro. From the left hash, this from 39. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. They pass up the three, fake it, it doesn't work. And the Eagles defense able to hold. They go with Howard to begin the drive. And an alley to run. And oh, he sheds a tackle, now he's got some space. 20, 10. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Jordan Howard, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big-time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. They find themselves down 17-7 as they start this drive first and 10. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 24. Now Trubisky. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play, because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the fuck out. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. That's to his running back, complete. Call it a gain of three, and that'll bring up fourth down.
Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Now Sproles. A big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. Again, they'll run it again at Sproles. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. Play action. Now wins. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And a throw there going to be incomplete. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Taken in at the 22. 51 yards on the punt there. And that will come the offense as they take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. They'll run on second down with Cohen. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. A three-yard pickup. And it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. They'll begin the drive with Howard. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Again, it's Howard. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. 
They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing his wins. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Throwing now is wins. And he'll hit Jeffrey complete. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Alshon Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body, ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control, and you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. It really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Cameron Johnston now. He's been terrific so far. Onto the field now come the Bears. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Play action. Now Trubisky. And an alley to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Looking to throw again on second down. Trubisky got a man open. It's Wims. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Trubisky to Gabriel there for a Bears first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second down now, it's Montgomery. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time, he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. 
Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. On the draw, this is Cohen. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Timmy Jernigan, the Florida State man, in on the stop. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Back to the ground. This time Montgomery. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. He needed a yard. That's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Now it's Trubisky. It's complete to Robinson. The reception good for seven. It's third down. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 20. They run with Howard. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. Looking to throw on second down. Wentz, and he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Now Wentz. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. And Eagle first down there, Wentz to Ertz, and the names that end in TZ. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. One of the feature points of the in route 
is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. This offensive line starting to win up front. You win that battle in the trenches, you can kind of wear them down here late. So you bring in the second part to that equation, and that's the big running back, the big bruiser, who can get more than what's blocked and break a few extra tackles and gain yardage. On first, they go right back to Howard. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. So the solid run on first, and I would imagine no real hurry to run that second down play. No, it's all in your quarterback now. He's going to keep an eye on the play clock and bleed things down, and he's not going to let the ball be snapped until it's inside three seconds left on the play clock. Unless, of course, you're playing a video game, you're trying to run it up on your play. <laughs> nice touch. Cold-blooded, too. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. The Eagles on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. Here it's third and two. Now Howard. And Howard stops short. He didn't get there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Partner, I know my grade school teachers never would believe this, but I can absorb a lesson. I think there's a lesson in this one. He's having a great day running the football, but occasionally they're going to find a way to stop you, aren't they? Yeah, this time the defense stepped up and what's been so far a tough game for them. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? Well, we're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Now Trubisky to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A good pickup, 17 yards and a bare first down. A good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. Here's Trubisky. This is caught by Robinson. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 23 yards, the final tally. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? On first down, Trubisky connecting with Burton here over the middle. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Draw play, call it. But when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Throwing here, Trubisky. The screen pass here to Cohen. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Well, so much for bluffing the defensive line into thinking that they were going to be able to get to the quarterback. Instead, they sniffed out the screen pass and made a really nice play for lost yardage. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, this from 53. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, this from 53. 
And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright. And this score will stay right where it is. And that one, an absolute backbreaker. A chance to get back within a score. Couldn't do it. Yeah, that one went begging, as they say, right? There's the opportunity, and it was missed. But all hope's not lost just yet. But, boy, getting back within one score would have been a powerful motivator for their defense to take the field with. On first down, they run with Howard. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. They go with Howard again. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. A good run by Jordan Howard. And now another first and ten. From the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Out of the gun, this is Howard. Roquan Smith, fresh off a solid rookie campaign, in on the tackle for Chicago. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Back to throw, Wentz. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. So now Trubisky and the Bears down by 10 a little under 50 seconds to go it's been a struggle to score all day and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance the bears in good field position to start out first and 10 right at the 50 yard line from midfield now here's trubisky and he completes it to cohen First down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Throwing now is Trubisky. He's got Burton here. And he's taken down inside the 30. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Trubisky to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Now it's Trubisky. Able 
able to get away. But he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Derek Barnett able to maneuver in for the sack. So fly, Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And, you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after that and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great, convincing performance. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.